Web 3.0 is the latest internet technology that uses machine learning, artificial intelligence, and blockchain to achieve real human communication. The icing on the cake is that Web 3.0 not only empowers individuals to own their data, but rewards them for their time on the web. However, before we start our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Now, let's get started. Web 3.0 Web 3.0 represents the next iteration or phase of web slash internet evolution and could potentially be as disruptive and represent as big a paradigm shift as Web 2.0. Web 3.0 is built on the basic concepts of decentralization, openness, and greater user-friendliness. Decentralization No central authority permission is needed to publish anything on the web, there is no central control node, and thus no single point of failure, and no kill switch. It also means freedom from indiscriminate censorship and surveillance. Bottom-up design Instead of having the code written and reviewed by a small group of experts, it was developed for everyone to see, which encourages maximum participation and experimentation. In a 2001 paper, Berners-Lee discussed the concept of what he referred to as the semantic web. Computers have no reliable way to process the semantics of a language and figure out the actual context in which a word or phrase is used. Berners-Lee's vision for the semantic web was to bring structure to the meaningful content of web pages and enable software to perform sophisticated tasks for users. Web 3.0 has moved far beyond the original concept of the semantic web, as conceptualized by Berners-Lee in 2001. This is partly because it is very expensive and monumentally difficult to translate human language, with all its subtle nuances and variations into a format that can be easily understood by computers, and because Web 2.0 has already evolved substantially over the past two decades. Defining Web 3.0 Functions Although there is no standardized definition of Web 3.0 yet, it has several defining features. Decentralization This is the basic principle of Web 3.0. In Web 2.0, computers use HTTP in the form of unique web addresses to find information that is stored in a fixed location, usually a single server. With Web 3.0, because the information would be located based on its content, it could be stored in multiple places simultaneously and thus could be decentralized. This would break up the vast databases currently held by internet giants like Meta and Google and give users more control. With Web 3.0, data generated by diverse and increasingly powerful computing resources, including mobile phones, desktops, devices, vehicles, and sensors, will be sold to users through decentralized data networks, ensuring that users retain control over ownership. Untrusted and without permission. In addition to being decentralized and based on open source software, Web 3.0 will also be trustless, that is, the network will allow participants to interact directly without using a trusted intermediary and permissionless, that is, anyone can participate without permission from a governing body. As a result, Web 3.0 applications will run on blockchains or decentralized peer-to-peer -peer networks, or a combination of these. Such decentralized applications are referred to as dApps. Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning In Web 3.0, computers will be able to understand information similar to humans through technologies based on the concepts of the semantic web and natural language processing. Web 3.0 will also use machine learning, a branch of artificial intelligence that uses data and algorithms to mimic how humans learn and gradually improve its accuracy. These capabilities will enable computers to produce faster and more relevant results in a range of areas, such as drug and new materials development, as opposed to just the targeted advertising that forms the bulk of current efforts. Connectivity and Ubiquity With Web 3.0, information and content are more connected and ubiquitous accessed by more applications and a growing number of everyday web-connected devices, 
one example being the Internet of Things. The potential and pitfalls of Web 3.0 Web 3.0 has the potential to provide users with much greater usability beyond social media, streaming, and online shopping, which make up the majority of Web 2.0 applications that consumers use. Capabilities such as the semantic web, AI, and machine learning, which are at the core of Web 3.0, have the potential to significantly increase application in new areas and significantly improve user interaction. Core Web 3.0 features such as decentralization and permissionless systems will also give users much more control over their personal data. This can help curb the practice of data mining, which refers to information collected from web users without their consent or compensation, and limit the network effects that have allowed tech giants to become near monopolies through exploitative advertising and marketing practices. However, decentralization also brings significant legal and regulatory risks. Cybercrime, hate speech, and misinformation are already difficult to police and will become even more so in a decentralized structure due to the lack of central control. A decentralized web would also make regulation and enforcement very difficult. For example, which country's laws would apply to a particular website whose content is hosted in many countries around the world? Bottom line. To use an analogy from movies, if Web 1.0 represented the era of black and white movies, Web 2.0 would be the age of color basic 3D, while Web 3.0 would be immersive experiences in the metaverse. Just as 2010 was the decade when Web 2.0 became a dominant force in the global business and cultural landscape, 2020 may be Web 3.0's turn. Facebook's name change to Meta on October 28, 2021, may prove to be an early sign that the transition to Web 3.0 is gaining momentum. Is Web 3.0 the same as the semantic web? Web 3.0 goes far beyond the semantic web envisioned by web pioneer Tim Berners-Lee in 2001. Although Web 3.0 uses technologies based on the concepts of the semantic web and natural language processing to make user interaction more intuitive, it also has other features such as the widespread use of artificial intelligence and machine learning and untrusted or permissionless systems such as blockchain and peer-to-peer -peer networks. So that's it for today. If you find this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. Thanks for watching and see you next time.